So lossless scaling's working on Steam Deck now and I wanted to check it out. So in today's video, I've got a guide for how to install lossless scaling along with checking out three games, including Baldur's Gate 3, Space Marine 2 and Bloodborne. Um, lossless scaling's pretty cool. It's not always gonna save the day. There is a handful of games where it just, you know, if the frame rate's too low, it's not gonna save it. But it definitely has a place in the Steam Deck ecosystem. So without further ado, let's get into the installation guide and then check out some games. One thing I wanna point out is lossless scaling is not a free product. You do have to pay for it. So keep that in mind. And the other thing is you also need uh, Deki, which is a Steam Deck add-on. I will have a link to how to install Deki in the description below. Uh, and so make sure you do Deki first and then go ahead and buy lossless scaling if you wanna go ahead with it. And then once you've downloaded lossless scaling, we're gonna head over to desktop mode. Most people know how to get desktop mode, but in case you don't, go ahead, push the Steam button, head down to power, and then from power, you go to desktop. Easy as. New helping. Hmm. If you're on desktop mode, head over to your local browser and head over to this GitHub page. I have a link to this in the description below. Head over to the latest releases and go download the zip. Uh, and later on, I do have to update mine, so you can see how to update yours as well. And then once you've downloaded this, um, move it to a folder that you wanna keep it in. I put mine in my, my documents folder. You can put it wherever you like, uh, but that is one thing you're gonna need to do. Back in gaming mode, if you've got Deki installed, you'll go ahead, go down to Deki, and what you're gonna do is go over to the cog, and then from there, you wanna make sure you enable developer mode. As you can see here, I've already got it installed, but I'm gonna redo it. So what you're gonna see is you'll go across in general, make sure developer mode is ticked, and then what you're gonna go is over to developer, which will be the third one down. And then from here, this is where you install the zip. So mine's in my documents. And then you would go ahead and click on it and install Deki, uh, the, sorry, Deki, lossless scaling. And that would be one part done. And then what you would need to do is to make sure that both those are installed. So you normally just click the download for that and it should know that lossless scaling is installed and they're both ticked. And that's it, you're basically done. You don't need to touch anything else except for when you want to turn on lossless scaling to times two or whatever, um, and to copy the uh, command file which you're going to need to use in the game's command file. Um, as you can see, there's an update and this does make you go around in a few circles. So I'll jump ahead and show you how I updated if you have to also update. Basically, once it downloads the update, you'll want to go into your cog and remove lossless scaling, uh, uninstall it basically, and then go back into developer and use the zip of the download that you've just downloaded, uh, which was for me was this one here, Deki LSFG, and then I went and checked updates and it was up to date. And then from there, what you need to do is you need to copy in that command line into each game which I will show here. Once you've done the update, you also have to re-download that file, which takes milliseconds. And then you just scroll all the way down to copy to clipboard, and then you put that in the command line on a game that you want to play. So for me, we're gonna check out Baldur's Gate 3 first, because that game has always had struggled, especially in Act 3. So as you can see here, you go over to the cog for the game, and then you go down, not, I, I click on the wrong one because I'm an idiot. And then you scroll down in general to where you find it. As you can see here, I've already got it installed. So I'm just going to delete it. And what you do is, since you've copied it already, you go down to paste when you click on the thing here. So you go down here and then you go across to paste. Done. So that means now uh, lossless scaling will work when you enable it from within the Deki side loader. 
So we're going to load up Baldur's Gate 3 here, and um, we're going to have a look at a very late game save. So this is this save is right before the final boss. So massive spoiler warning here. If you don't want to see uh, the room outside the final boss and walking into the final boss room, maybe not watch this. Uh, here's my settings. I just go through them here. So if you want to use these settings for your version of uh, Baldur's Gate 3, go for it. These seem to work well for me and the game looks reasonable enough uh, at these settings. So what we're going to do here is, where am I going? Do, do, do. I'm going to turn on our frame counter. And then I'm going to go through the rest of these things. Most things are on low here. Um, I've got FSR 2.2 on balanced, I think, or quality. Um, and then we've got textures on medium. We've got terrain quality on medium. Um, and we've got ambient. Uh, yeah, we've got a couple of mediums in the animation level at medium. Uh, and now we're going to load up the save. So here we are loading up in the save. This is with lossless scaling turned off. As you can see here, we're sitting in the mid to high 20s. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of particle effects going on at this part of the game. We've got fire, we've got rain. Um, you know, we've got a large battle taking place behind us on outside here you got dragons flying around and all sorts so the frame rate does uh struggle a wee bit here it actually looks pretty good but as soon as you turn around here and you get all the particle effects it drops back down again um so what we're going to do as you can see here we're in mid 20s to low 30 so we're going to go here and we're going to turn on lossless scaling so go down here and we're going to turn it on to times two. I would never go higher than times two. And as you can see, it jumps up instantaneously here to 60 plus FPS. And it, you know, it, it does work surprisingly well. It drops back down into the 50s when we're looking at all those particle effects behind us. Um, but the game runs, you know, pretty well. Um, it's not a locked 60. I mean, you could also turn it to performance mode for FSR, but uh, it just gets too grainy for my personal taste, so I don't like that. Uh, but yeah, so that's what it looks like. Uh, we're going to run into the final boss room here so, so we get a conversation, because sometimes uh, talking to other characters can really drop the performance of, a, of the game. Um, so yeah, the cutscene here looks not too bad. Uh, we're talking to Gale here and it's sitting in the 50s and 60s. Uh, so yeah, like that's lossless scaling for Baldur's Gate 3. It really does make a difference for this game. Um, this is of course a real late game. So it, it's, you know, Act 3 is definitely a heavy act. So to see it jumping up this high is quite surprising and very cool. Um, and then I'm going to show you some footage from uh, the start of the game as well. So this is just after the Nautiloid crashes and you're back on the back in the back home. Uh, and as you can see here in the opening area, the game is sitting in the 70s and 60s, so very high. Again, cutscenes playing at a much higher. Again, uh, third act is always a lot heavier than act one, so the first act is going to be really smooth on the Steam Deck now, and it runs really well. Um, no noticeable input lag, which is really nice to see, and it's just great. So... I think uh, lossless scaling is a, has a massive win for Baldur's Gate 3 and definitely makes me more inclined to replay this game on the Steam Deck now with its high frame. As you can see here, as soon as you start getting into particle effects, uh, the frame rate dips. This game just uh, is very heavy with its particle effects, even on low. But as you can see here, it is going to be well more playable. Right, we're moving on to Bloodborne next. So Bloodborne's an interesting one. I'm not going to go through how to install Bloodborne. That's outside the scope of this video, but we are using Shad PS4. And I've added uh, the lossless scaling to the command line for launching uh, Bloodborne. Um, well, launching into it. As you can see here, I've got Bloodborne. We're going to just load it up. And then I'm going to show you some gameplay. 
with lossless scaling off. As you can see here, we're just sitting on 30 FPS and slightly dripping, uh, dripping, slightly dropping. Um, I am also running this at 720p uh, just to get to 30 FPS for Bloodborne. Otherwise, it doesn't normally reach 30 FPS. It normally drops down. Um, so if you if you are using Shad PS4 along with Bloodborne, make sure you go to the 720p setting. Uh, you can do that in the settings for Shad. You'll find it. It's not too hard. As you can see here, it, it does struggle a wee bit. I'll jump forward a little bit more. Or I won't because I died like literally coming down the stairwell here. And uh, I think you get the idea. The frame rate is under 30, 25, 27, it, it really is all over the place here. Um, and now we're going to turn it on lossless scaling. Here we are turning on lossless scaling. As you can see here, we're sitting on 29, 30. We'll go to times two. We'll close that. And here we go. We jump up to 60, almost 60. Look at that. Uh, what a huge difference. Um, I... Uh, it's really hard to like w record and play at the same time. I uh, I get I get the nerves, and I'm it, I'm trying to watch the camera at the same time. So uh, honestly, there is the input lag is fine. Like this is well playable here. Um, I'm just not very good because I haven't played Bloodborne in a wee while. I'm just making excuses now, aren't I? But honestly, like the input lag is not the issue here. Uh, and the reason, like, uh, this is a good spot to test it is we'll jump forward at, to the large mob uh, at the bonfire where you're going to see it, does, it doesn't it does stay to 60s. You see here it gets into the mid-50s. Um, but the game is absolutely well playable like this. As I go guns blazing into here, you're going to see I'm going to get massacred here, but that's just me playing poorly. Um, but this frame rate's holding up really well. We're still sitting in the 50s, which is awesome. We dropped down to 40 for a minuscule second there. Um, but this is absolutely, you could, I could absolutely see myself sitting down and playing through the entirety of Bloodborne this way without too many issues, to be honest. Uh, as I fall off the cart and then proceed to get murdered. Uh, so with that out of the way, we're going to move on to our final game, which is Space Marine 2. One thing I forgot, Space Marine 2 load times on the Steam Deck are horrendous. Um, I'll go through and show you my settings. Everything's basically on low. I'm not using frame generation from um, FSR um, just as well. I put this on full screen. You probably can leave it on borderless or whatever, but I just put on full screen just to, because I can. Um, and I put it on quality FSR, not, I did have it on performance, um, but I do, I do push it up a wee bit because, uh, the clearer the picture, the better in my personal eyes. Everything else is basically on low across the board. Um, otherwise we're just not going to get enough frames for, uh, lossless scaling to make a difference here. Um, I just put it on limited frame rate just so we can... Uh, see how far it can go up and how far it can go down. Um, and then as you can see here on the uh, hull on the ship here, it's sitting at 30-ish, dropping under from part to part. And now I'm just going to load into a story mission. As you can see here on the bridge, we are, we are in the low 20s uh, and 30s. We're going to go ahead and try out lossless scaling here. Turn this on to times two on the bridge of the ship. And we're here we are in the 50s and 40s. Still dropping down. As you can see here, there's a few artifacts on Titus's head. Uh, but it seems to clear up, which is good. And then we're into the 70s going up into this small corridor. Of course, that is not indicative of the campaign. Standing on a small bridge or a corridor like this. So let's jump ahead into some actual gameplay. Here we are on the first or second mission quite early on in the campaign as I had restarted it and uh, I didn't realize you just lost if you if you deleted your save and said again like because I wanted to do the opening one where you're playing as a black, not black Templar, as a uh, Death Watch. I don't know why they don't let you just replay the prelude mission because it's cool. Um, but the frame rate, you know, here there's a lot going on on screen. Uh, but the frame rate seems to be sitting in the 50s. I'll go ahead and turn it off here just to see what it would be not not having uh, 
lossless scaling on, it drops down into the 30s, into the 20s. Um, again, I'm not using the FSR frame gen here, which a lot of people just use instead. Uh, I don't think mixing lossless scaling and FSR frame gen is a good idea, but you could if you wanted to, I guess. I, I didn't test that personally. Um, I feel like it's probably one or the other. So here we're in the mid-20s now getting into a combat, uh, and it stays there. So what I do is I pause it, and I go ahead and turn on lossless scaling to see if in combat the frame rate jumps up, which it does. And again, like I say, um, I've forgotten the execution button here, so don't don't get upset at me for not executing some of these enemies. I was like mangling the buttons trying to figure out what one was execute. I do get there by the end, uh, but this is this is great. And again, uh, I'm not noticing a ton of input lag because I am sensitive to it. And there's other games where I have noticed it quite heavily, but for these three titles, it, it's actually worked out quite well. I was expecting Space Marine 2 to work as well as it is. Um, so genuinely surprised how good Space Marine 2 has come out in all of this. Uh, so let me know in the comments below how you've been finding lossless scaling. Um, and if you're using it on your Steam Deck, again, it is a paid for application. So just be aware of that and you do need Decky installed to get this all up and running. Uh, just for one more uh, play around, I turn off lossless scaling and you see here we are now in the mid-20s yet again for our frame rate. Um, it is definitely struggling without lossless scaling on. We're in the low 20s. Go ahead, we'll turn it back on. Booyah, we're in the 40s, which is much better than what we were. This is awesome. It actually is pretty cool. Again, some games this doesn't work. For for reference, I tried it in a game called... Uh, There's a newer game that came out not that long ago. Uh, Echoes of Time, I think it was called. Uh, I did a really quick review of it for Steam Deck and, you know, it just didn't work. Um, uh, yeah, Echoes of the End. And that game, the frame rate is just diabolic, diabolically low. Um, where you just... It just didn't matter. Uh, I am wondering, all three of these games do not run on Unreal Engine. Uh, so that may be playing a part in that. Again, Unreal Engine games may not play so nicely with uh, lossless scaling. I'm not too sure. But I was genuinely shocked at how well this has worked out. I'll leave you with this last little bit of footage here from Space Marine 2. Um, I wasn't playing a lot of Space Marine 2 on the Steam Deck because it wasn't I personally couldn't put up with the, the quality of the performance on Steam Deck. But with lossless scaling, I actually will probably put in a few more hours of this game now. Um, it's actually in a playable place. It feels like not that long ago I've made a video complaining about Space Marine 2 on Steam Deck. Um, I didn't check out an operation though. So operations still may be pretty poor. Um, I just didn't want to get uh, have to do a whole uh, operation for this video so i was like i'll just do a, uh, some campaign stuff uh, which was great but if you're using this for uh, operations and multiplayer please let me know in the comments and let everyone else know if uh, loss of scaling keeps up this performance in the, those two game modes anywho thank you for watching and i you will see me in another video in another day at another time all right guys catch ya